What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video and today we're going to be doing some testing to see what kind of drift there is when you use Algorithm DJ Pro on the laptop and whether you use it with Phase, which I have set up right now, and then we'll also, also switch up to the RCAs and use Control Vinyl. We'll use Serato Control Vinyl and also the official DJ Pro Control Vinyl. So I just want to see how long it takes before it drips off. So we'll start here with, um, I have a scratch sound loaded up. It's this first cue point right here and it's the ah sound. Um, and then I'm going to scratch it. And also you'll see on my turntables, they're also going to be set to the 12 o'clock position. So we want to see how far, how long it takes for these two to drift off because they will eventually drift off. And sometimes it takes a little bit of, quick scratching sometimes it's a little bit of um, just random scratching but we'll see right now So right here now you can see that it's already drifted even just now with that little bit of scratching because you see on the uh, screen the computer screen it's still at 12 o'clock if we go over to the turntable overhead it's now at 10 30 maybe 11 o'clock it's already drifted just with that amount of scratching so that is something that is kind of concerning, but let's go ahead and switch over to the RCA cables and use uh, control vinyl instead of using phase, and we'll see how well that works. All right, so now I've gone ahead and removed phase. We're using my needles, and we're gonna do the same experiment. So I've got, uh, from the overhead on the turntables, you can see, even though I've got my face sticker over it, you can see the S from the Serato. So it's at 12 o'clock right here. And we're gonna cue it up on the computer screen. So that is also at 12 o'clock. So let's see how quickly it takes for the 12 o'clock position on the turntable to drift off from what we see on, on the software. So let's start now with a little bit of scratch. All right, so it's already drifted. You can tell right here. If you, um, let's look at the turntable. You see that the S is right here. It should have been, it started out up here. So it drifted the same amount, it's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And if we go to the computer screen, we see that it's still showing at 12 o'clock. So definitely the drift is still there. This is what Serato control vinyl, the only test to do next is use the actual DJ Pro control vinyl. So let's go ahead and set that up. All right, so this is it right here. This is the official DJ uh, control vinyl. We're gonna go ahead and set that up. And let's put the needle on the record, set it to 12 o'clock. So right now, on the computer screen, we're at 12 o'clock. On the turntables, we are at 12 o'clock. So let's go ahead and see just what the drift situation is like with the official vinyl. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, big, big difference right there. Uh, at first I did some cutting and didn't realize I had my mic on as well as the speaker, so I had to edit that out and redo it again. Never reset the 12 o'clock position, and still after all that scratching, it is still true to the 12 o'clock position. As you can see on the computer screen, it's at 12 o'clock, and if you look at the turntables, they are still at 12 o'clock. After all that fast, crazy, random scratching, fast, slow, um, scribbles, everything, it still stayed at 12 o'clock, stayed true to it. So <clears throat> I think this was a pretty good experiment. Um, had a lot of variables and showed us something really important that the control vinyl for that comes with Algorithm DJ Pro works best with Algorithm DJ Pro. Even though you can use Serato control vinyl, even though you can use Phase, and it is pretty responsive with the scratching and stuff. I mean, I felt like it was pretty sharp with it. Um, it did drift off with those options versus the official DJ Pro uh, vinyl. So if you want to uh, really uh, get the best value or the best performance out of your uh, DJ Pro, I'm going to definitely recommend that you use the uh, actual control vinyl. In fact, I don't really feel like there's a need to even experiment with the iPad because I think it, you'll get the, we'll get the same results. I mean, it's just pretty cut and dry. The official vinyl worked so much better and did not have any drift versus the um, control vinyl from Serato. And one thing I also did notice, and I'm pressing play now, and you can hear the, the tone from the record, but one thing I did also notice is that on the screen, I was able to get a good, clean um, signal using the official control vinyl. If I switch this over and put on the Serato control vinyl, I was not able to get a good green signal. I get this orange, reddish signal. And that probably is what accounts for the, um, this, the drift. This is not the correct tone. Every tone is going to be different. Even though you can swap out control vinyl, it's always best to use the vinyl that came with that program. Now, I know Virtual DJ does do DVS, but I don't think they have their own control vinyl. So they may be the exception to the rule, as they usually are, because they work with just about everything. But with Serato, it pays to use the Serato control vinyl. With DJ Pro, use the DJ Pro control vinyl. Hopefully this was a pretty informative video and I'm trying to keep the videos uh, informative and educational as well as, you know, entertaining. But this is something that you may think of or wonder about if you use the DJ Pro software. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll keep the videos coming. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.